the kitchen cooking some dinner. And uh, I'll talk to you about challenges doing the kind of work we do. It ain't easy. There's a lot of uh, chances you take and a lot of, and a lot of, uh, actually there's a lot of internal disagreements. I've been doing this since 2012 and uh, last year has been rough because I hurt my foot and I haven't been able to, uh, to drive as much as I'd like to. I feel like what I do helps people even though a lot of folks don't agree with what I do. Oh, good. One and a half minutes per slice of bacon, so we got two four, which is three six minutes. Salad consists of celery, radishes, uh, carrots, cauliflower, and trees. I was out on a cooking show, I'd do this on the air. Shit, half the corn's in the sink. Damn. As you can see, that's what I made. Only good stuff, even though I burned my hand. Dropped half the corn in the uh, garbage disposal. Not bad. I'm running a little late, that's all right. Congratulations. I just found out you're being investigated. Again. Unfortunately, the source is reliable. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, so what did... Okay, so what did they say? Really? We gotta get out ahead of this crap. DC is letting them all in, and the Republicans in law enforcement are looking for a scapegoat. Looks like that might be you. It sure ain't gonna be me. Listen to me, the guys in D.C., that's exactly who I'm making these videos for, to call them out, to say shenanigans on you, you're not doing the right thing. I'm going to interrupt this program right here to ask a question.
what is the right thing? I'm asking everybody. In that last little clip, I said Washington wasn't doing the right thing. What is the right thing? What's right for you? What's right for me? What's right for the greatest number of people? Because somewhere, somehow, somebody is always being left out. Right after that hurricane left Cuba, the Cuban people came out in mass protesting their lack of freedom, their lack of food, their lack of money. They were letting the government know, and many celebrities actually came out with statements in support of the people of Cuba, SOS Cuba, you could see it on websites, on Twitter feeds. It was pretty much all over for about a week or two. And then, as if by magic, SOS Cuba disappeared. The last... SOS I saw was on a car that said SOS America and it was referring to people, Americans who were trapped in Afghanistan not only American citizens were trying to get out of the country but Afghan citizens who had helped Americans so when I think of what I do and compare it to the larger context of what's going on in the world. I don't believe that too many people are watching us. I believe that what I do helps people one person at a time. It's not much, but it's what I do. It's something. And as far as, you know, the videos are concerned, well, I just thought it's time to go public. You know, you can stay in the background so long. But look at all these other guys on on these public these social media channels. You know, they got podcasts, they got they got talk shows, they've got, you know, and they're what are they talking about? They're all talking about the good old days or in their case, the bad old days. You know, when they were doing bad things, when they were involved with crime and law enforcement and, you know, doing time and all that. So, we haven't ever had a problem with this due to probably caution or perhaps an overabundance of caution. So I got my own show right now. These videos were supposed to serve a certain audience for a specific purpose, not to become the next social media sensation. What's the big deal? Oh, well, 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 looky here. Seven subscribers. You're really setting the world on fire. Well, if I mentioned their names, you would know who I was talking about. Okay, okay, you got your eighth subscriber. Don't say I never did anything for you. But only because I got to keep an eye on your shit. Who? thank you. Thank you for keeping an eye on my shit. Thank you.
for answers. They're just a, a starving artist trying to sell some nice pictures or whatever. One minute, my kid and I are eating out, having a great time talking. And the next month, we're both mad at each other for decisions we both made. It's these times when we uh, we can't even be in each other's company. We just talk on our phones and send messages. And then I get on my phone and I talk back. All that, what you've just seen. That's how we handle things when, uh, when things get rough. And then something happens, an emergency of sorts. A motorcycle chain breaks. An accident on the highway, a flat tire. No oil in the engine, who knows? It could be any number of reasons, and it has been from time to time. And then we call each other because in the end, he depends on me, and I depend on him. Hey, look, uh, could you come over this afternoon and uh, look at my cable box? Yeah, I've been out. Of, this, this has been going on for a week, and I know that you're better at this than I am. You know, you can get those clickers going and doing something, but uh, I just really appreciate it. I, yeah, I, I know. I know it's half an hour from where you live, but if you could just give me, you know, come over on your lunch break, give it 15 minutes. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. I guess you're not coming over. This is my TV. Look at it. The only thing I can see on it is a reflection of the fan. But I waited in all day for you to show up. And guess what? You didn't show up. Thank you very much. I'm going on a week without a television. How am I supposed to keep up with the news? How am I supposed to keep up with what's going on in the world? You know? I wouldn't know if, I, I wouldn't know that there was a hurricane outside if I had to rely on this television set. I've been on the phone five, six, seven, eight times trying to trying to fix this problem, and nobody at the cable company or at the TV company or wherever seemed to be able to fix it. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know she doesn't look like a dancer. All right.
uh, investigated before, nothing ever came of it. It's not a big deal.